So the majority of people will know that, sadly, Adventures with Purpose seem to have a hole. They're sinking, and at some point, they're likely going to be at the depths of where some of the cars are that they have found and pulled out over the years. And look, I, for one, am not celebrating like some people are. You know, some people are basking in the in the sun and glory of their demise and i just i can't join that you know there is some fantastic work that this team done there were some fantastic people within that team and now what we're seeing is this being ripped apart because of one man but sadly, that one man, Jared Lysak, is the owner of Adventures with Purpose. So it's not as simple as rebranding, going out with going on without him, and you know, driving down the road, and just being a different team. It's not as simple as that. Jared, he owns that business. So it's now down to these guys to perhaps start from the ground up. And they're going to need all the support they can get. I think it's out there. I do think that the support is out there. And people will know. And I think it's important that they are now allowed to disconnect from the Jared Lysak fiasco. And move forward. They have families. They have children themselves. They have people who depend on them. And look... It's uncertain times. Um, we don't know what legal contracts exist, whether there are contracts in place that means that they cannot do what they love to do and go into direct competition with Adventures with Purpose, whether Jared is still going to operate and continue to operate and be allowed to operate. Obviously, there are laws that restrict people from running businesses from within prisons and that's quite likely where Jared is going to end up very soon. And what does that mean for Adventures with Purpose as a business, as a brand? Um, but look, these guys have left the business. They've left and they did the right thing. Some people will say that they jumped ship to save themselves. And look, the the only thing I can say to that is fuck off. You know, they can't do right for doing wrong, can they? If they stayed with them, they'd have been wrong. If they left, they're defending themselves. And, you know, you can back people into the corner as much as you like. You can say that people are connected, not connected. They knew, they didn't know. At the end of the day, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. I think everybody should give them the benefit of the doubt because at the end of the day, the one person who did what, you know, we're all sitting there having these conversations about he's not them. And they should not suffer because of his wrongdoings. And at this moment in time, they are suffering because of his wrongdoings. Their families are suffering because of his wrongdoings. And there will be families out there who need them, who won't get their help because of his wrongdoings so this tragedy is now not only affecting the victim the direct victims the cousin the sister but it's now having that wave effect where it just ripples out and ripples out and ripples out and more people are affected let's stop it let's stop let jared burn at the stake himself let whatever be will be will be with him you know, let the system do what the system is there to do and let him go through due process and let these guys do what they need to do to survive, to go on. Share, show them some love. And um, they've got some hard times coming ahead, some things that they're going to have to do and work through. And I just hope that they get the support that they deserve and need. I'll catch you all in the next one.